Okay, let's get started. Uh, I'll collect the homework. We're going to be talking about subset lattice and the combinatorics on sets. This is an elegant and beautiful subject with many, many applications. So we're going to talk about the subset lattice, the family of all subsets of a finite set. And as usual, we'll take the finite set to be the first n integers. So here is the poset formed by all the subsets of 1, 2, 3, 4, ordered by inclusion. Now, uh, following my philosophy of being selectively lazy, you'll notice that I have omitted the squiggles and the commas. Now, I can get away with this for a modest size set, but when the set is big, then I can't tell the difference between 24 and 2, comma 4. So this is a subset lattice. Uh, it's become standard to refer to the subset lattice as 2 to the n, where the 2 is a boldface 2. This is the same boldface 2 that we were talking about in our characterization of interval orders. Namely, boldface 2 is a two-element chain, 0 less than 1. And this connection comes from identifying subsets with bit strings. So now here I've got the same picture, but the elements, rather than being considered as sets, are being considered as bit strings. So the bit string 0, 0, 0, 0 says the first element is not in, the second element is not in, the third element is not in, the fourth element is not in, so nobody is in. So the bit string all zeros corresponds to the empty set. And the bit string all ones corresponds to the entire set. So this is taking us back maybe to the first or second class of this course. All right, so when we're talking about bit strings, most combinatorists will refer to it as a cube. Now, the reason they do that is they see that as a graph. That's a graph with vertices and edges. So it's the cover graph. And you can walk on that. You can talk about Hamiltonian paths and Hamiltonian cycles. Um, you can do all kinds of just ordinary graph things on it. A poset person looks at that and sees a partially ordered set, a poset. And we will go back and forth between considering this object as a graph and considering it as a poset. The combinatorics, uh, the interplay between posets and graphs on the family of subsets of a set is a fascinating subject. OK. Basic properties. The size of bold face 2 to the n is 2 to the n. Now, look at this uh, line carefully. And uh, hopefully, your vision is good enough to see that the first two is bold faced and the second one is not. So the second 2 to the n is just a number, the number 2 raised to the nth power. The first one, the bold face 2, is the two element chain, 0 less than 1 raised to the nth power. So when you take a two element set and raise it to the nth power, you get the n tuples of zeros and ones. And that explains the notation bold face 2 to the nth power. All right, the unique maximal element in 2 to the n is the set 1, 2 up to n, or in bit string notation, the maximal element is the all 1 string. And a unique minimal element is the empty set, or in bit string notation, the vector of all zeros. The height of 2 to the n is n plus 1. Uh, 0, 1s, 2s, 3s, 4s, up to n. So because you have 0, then you have n plus 1. And the, the height of is not only n plus 1, all maximal chains are maximum. So when we take posets in general, you can have height 6, but you can have maximal chains of size 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. But in the subset lattice, all maximal chains are maximum. Let's go back to the picture and see that all maximal chains have an element from each of those levels. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 
four. All maximal chains have size five. It's a very special property for a poset. 